So this video explains how you can run two events on the same computer using two instances of Writebooth at the same time. So what you need for this is Writebooth version 7.7.15. Let's just have a look at what we've got here. I've got a laptop with driven by a mouse, so it, it's not a touch screen. I've got an extended desktop, Windows desktop, with a large touch screen monitor attached so I can interact with the touch screen, so this is the extended desktop part of the touch screen, so this isn't interfering with this at all. So on the laptop I'm running the first instance of Writebooth, which is just a recording event, and I'm using the webcam because I've got the GoPro in my hand while I'm recording this video. Okay, so what I need to do is run another instance of Writebooth, so let's just do that. Now, as you can see, I've got two copies of Writebooth running here. So this one, I'm going to drag across to the main screen, the main touch screen, and here we are. So this is the sharing station event. If I look in design, event structure, multiple monitors you will see that on this event I've got the event to run on display 2 so that's very important so this second instance of right booth is going to play the event on monitor 2 so let's just do that so there we have the sharing station event running on monitor 2 back on the laptop we've still got the first instance of Writebooth sat ready to run so let's do that as well bring the mouse across and I'll click the play button so laptop we have the recording event sharing station on the extended desktop so I can interact with the sharing station and I'm not affecting the laptop in any way. Now if I move the mouse around here I can still interact with this. So I'm going to record another video here. So it's starting the recording back to the start screen. Now if I come over here it will have copied as you can see it's copied the video across to the sharing station folder. So it should appear now in the list, and here it is. Meanwhile, over here, I can carry on and record another one. So that's just recorded another video. And on the sharing station, I've now got the two that I've just recorded. So it's quite possible to run the sharing station and the recording event on the same computer. Now one very important thing here, I need to show you another setting, so let's just exit on here and we go into settings, user input, now as you can see on this second instance of Writebooth I've got it to work with the touch screen, but very important here I've ticked this new option which is mouse as secondary input. Now, by ticking that, it allows Writebooth to reset the mouse back to the mouse input on the primary screen. So, essentially, if I just come out of Writebooth on the first monitor and look at settings here, each instance of Writebooth has its own independent settings. 
So on here you can see that on the primary monitor I'm using the mouse as the input and on the extended desktop I'm using the touch screen as the input. But as I say, you must select mouse as secondary input which will allow Rightbooth to move the mouse cursor back onto the primary input each time somebody interacts with the sharing station. And it seems to work really well. A better way to do this would be to have two touch screens. So one on each monitor. But in the absence of that, you can use this mouse as secondary input on the touch screen monitor to allow both the mouse and the touch screen to work simultaneously on the two instances of Rightbooth. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.